way, Jose. I believe it's cold outside. What is that, Fred? Breakfast? It's banana pecan. Breakfast in bed? Bread. Bed? Why is that in my face? For the camera, so oh. I can see. Oh, okay. Good morning, peeps and peepettes. I got to replace the starter today. What do you think? I think it's 25 degrees outside and freezing in this RV. Roger's going to help me replace the starter on a big rig, the RV hauler. In 25 degrees, Freddy? No, it's going to get warmer. I believe it's cold outside. Mushrooms, more mushrooms, carrots, chicken, lunch. Replacing the starter today in the big rig. Got everything out. Uh, we need air wrench. We don't have a long enough hose because my compressor won't do it. It sucks. Got all these pry bars here. Right underneath there with some extensions. What a bear. Just in case you're new to the channel, it's our starter that went in the RV hauler. And uh, we're trying to fix it. I don't know what in the world this is all over my truck. Looks like blood. What the heck is that? So we had we ran into a big problem here. Not a big problem, but my friends helped me out. Over crank protection piece. We have to jump these two wires before I put the starter in. Now in the RV hauler starter, there's a safety. This is a newer, it's the same starter, but it's made for newer ones too. And I put a, a electrical piece in there and I crimped it tight and I filled it with silicone. So that should be good. It's the only way to do it really. Hey, Fred, what do you think of that start? Do you think you can lift that up there in there for me? No way, Jose. What? No way, Jose. Is it big? Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a big one. It's a big one. Just got done doing 10 laps with the girls. Well, the girls only did four, and I would finished the rest. That's ready to go in pretty shortly. Poor Roger is covered in grease. Fred is wearing a yellow banana monkey suit. In your Roger's monkey suit. Doing, Roger's doing most of the work. I'm just supervising. We're trying to get bolts out. We got small, that first one came out too easy, didn't we? Look at him, he's covered. You Roger see said front. he doesn't want to be on cam unless he's naked. <laughs> Look at, show, show him the grease at least, Roger. I know, he's covered. Yeah, he's covered. Yeah, think he, covered. You think he's working hard or what? <laughs> well, so far we're unsuccessful. Using pipes. We can't get that starter off. We tried and tried, tried to use pipes and wrenches and fittings. We need an, an electric thousand foot pound pound wrench or something because we got one bolt out, but that's not good enough. There's two more. There's three bolts. What a nightmare. Roger's really trying. I'm trying. We got to find Heather's looking for a wrench right now um, that we can rent or borrow, borrow and get this thing done because this is ridiculous, but nothing we can do. So what are and we going to do on a Friday night? We're going to do nothing on a Friday. I'll go to bed because I'm exhausted from doing a starter and doing uh, negotiating with the property. It's nerve wracking, it actually does wear you down. It's actually quite stressful because we waited for two days to hear something back, and then we heard back, and then we countered, and now we're like on pins and needles like- He came back almost, he came down almost $8,000, $7,500. That's a big drop he dropped, but he has to drop. It's not worth the money he wants. And we still don't know if we have the property yet because- We still officially do not know and as soon as he says yes, we put a deposit down and, and then it's probably pretty secure from there. But we don't, you know, the dog's going to move the camera, no? All right. We chose to make a very risky and drastic drop with the property because... We dropped it almost 11 grand or 13 grand. Yeah, because there's other acres in there. There's other acres for cheaper, so it's kind of helped us out. If those other acres weren't there for cheap, he wouldn't even come down at all. And the structure, the, land there. the structure that you guys see there it needs work too. Yeah, the structure so. needs work, so, you know. But it's a, it's a newer, it's only nine years old, the structure, and it's concrete block. I mean, the floor is not cracked really at all. And he definitely all. loves the property. Like I like the, 35, the 36 by 25 building. I like that. Because it's secure, it's strong, it's not wood, it's going to rot out. It has no electrical in it, but I can put electrical in pretty cheap. <sighs> so we got to put a roof on the back. Oh, not a roof, it's $1,000 in damage. I could probably get it down for 600 bucks. So there'll be lots and lots of videos coming of... Working on a homestead. One, hopefully we get the property. And then two, it'll be him fixing up the... Well, us fixing up the and, little... Sh you and know, don't worry, we're, we're still going to RV around. We're gonna. There's a lot of RV videos coming to you and a lot of homestead videos. So we're going to do RV, homestead. We're going to have the best of both worlds. We're going to try. But we are kind of already spreading ourselves thin with just the RVing stuff and the business that we're trying to run so we're running a business doing the buying the property any rv we got to have some place to live but i will we, tell I mean, you this one year in the rv that we've been in we're going to be saving money take, we're going to be saving money taking our stuff out of storage 
important to think. We're going to be saving $130 a month right there, right off the bat. Right. And one of our biggest reasons to stay That's in six, the RV... That's what, $1,600 a year? Yeah. One of our paying? biggest reasons why we sold the house and to stay in the RV for Find a location years. where we can live and stuff. We've Find traveled around. Find a location around. and to save some, which is another reason why we weren't able to travel as much as everybody was like, hey, go here, go there, yeah, We wouldn't this, have the that. money for the property if we were to travel around. We just wouldn't have it. We so now we have a... We hopefully have a nice piece of property. I mean, really nice three lots... City water, 4G phones, and this is in the woods. So city water, 4G and the phones, super fast, two different internets. I mean, you can't really find that. Any, and, and the city water is already there. It works and everything. So you can't really find, and the structure is already there. So it's already established. We don't have to cut trees. We just plant a couple here and there. And just we, we just have to tweak it out, put electrical in the building, and put a septic tank in and put a house on. We and we're doing all of this? On a small, small budget. Yeah, we do not have a ton of cash to throw around, so I don't think we do, because we do not. We have a very small budget. We have a very small budget, and we're just trying we to... We don't ask you guys for things. We, we don't, don't ask, ask you for money. We don't, we don't ask don't for money. We don't do that. And we're, we're not asking you, but we're trying to explain We're never, to you ever going to ask for money, trust me. Don't when, worry about that. When we're stressed in the videos, that's because we're kind of spreading ourselves thin between the videos and working and... Figuring out where we're going to live. And yes, being in the RV has been fun. And we've met some new people. But we've had a lot of really cool experiences as well. But then it's been a lot on both of us. Him yeah. and I and our marriage. Right, we'll marriage. And, and everybody keeps asking me about the Snap-on hat. Snap-on does not sponsor me. A friend of mine sent me this hat. A fan has actually turned into a real good friend now. And Ross is ADD, so we went from serious to Snap-on. So hey, that's what you get with us. You never know. That's about it. We're going to edit the video and, and look at stare at a starter that's not in the truck yet. And you guys have to watch tomorrow's video to let you know whether or not we are going to have property or not. Yeah, tomorrow you can find out if we got the land, guys. Stay tuned, and you'll see if we get the starter in tomorrow, too, because that could happen, too. And tonight, we're going to be on pins and needles, and probably none of, neither not of me. us are going to sleep. I'll sleep fine. You will? Yep. I don't care either way, because there's other lots in there. The place where we're at, there's other lots right next to it, cheaper, so... Yeah, it doesn't have a structure. Today. Okay, bye. See you. Bye! Lagos and Cheryl, you know you'll find us funny.